This is CITV and my name is Karen Kubram. Today we've been having a parking roundtable discussing contactless technology. I'm here with Tim Jefferson from The Human Chain who's going to give us a summary of what we've been discussing. So Tim, thanks for chairing the session for us today. I think we've had some really interesting discussions from the participants. What do you think were some of the main themes coming out today? I think one of the biggest themes is that uh, parking is a natural uh, progression to go to contact list both for physical access, uh, so the credentials for access, but also for the payment. And uh, one of the great things that come out is there's a definite desire to actually work together. Uh, there's a real need for partnerships, uh, so working together between the parking providers, both public and private sector, very important on the public side, different drivers and different business goals, but also with the banks, the payment industry itself, potentially mobile network operators as contactless moves into mobile, uh, card scheme operators, Visa's MasterCard and people like that, but also third parties, people such as retail stadium owners um, and uh, a whole range of other associated people uh, who will be involved in the uh, whole uh, parking and then involved in the travel uh, and the uh, retail uh, sector as well and uh, some really interesting uh, developments uh, to be able to take in out of today's uh, event. And, and what were some of the potential let's say roadblocks that, that people came up with? Um, one of the key roadblocks that came out today was uh, it was about accreditation and how long it takes to get equipment accredited. Uh, and uh, the other one was around, at the moment, there's only a £10 limit set for the uh, uh, contactless payment. And then if you have to fall back onto chip and pin, that somewhat defeats the object of going contactless. I think they were the main two ones. Other than that, it's about commercialising the, the concepts and actually they're taking it forward in the next stage. So do we feel from, from the session that things can move forward or are we at a, a bit of an impasse here? No, I think that it's really positive today. There was a lot of very, very good uh, feeling in the room about it is a good time to move forward. Uh, there were some interesting discussions around uh, formulating some form of working group um, and there was a challenge put out by a number of people to say it is up to, to the industry players to actually do something about it now and not wait. So I think there is definite uh, movement uh, a lot of interest also that, that parking has not been one of the contactless uh, use cases that a lot of people either in the network operators or scheme operators have actually been doing. So a lot of interest uh, in that area. So potential trials maybe to, to move forward? Very much so. Trials, uh, pilots, um, and also joining perhaps together with other trials and pilots which are taking place and, and potential commercial launches coming on later on this year and beginning of next year. So thank you very much, Tim, for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed for inviting me. This has been Karen Kubram from CITV.